Hey, 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 hey. Eric Arnold here in the MLB barn. Thursday, the 9th of June. And, uh, well, we don't have a lot of action here for you today. We just got the one pick. Um, we're, we're being selective. I guess it's working. We won again last night. Two more wins. Throw them on the pile. Uh, we're now, what, seven units to the good for the year. Four-game winning streak. Uh, hey, bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves. Bringing in the sheaves, etc. So, good for us. Uh, we gave you the answer to the trivia question that nobody knew the answer to. Uh, Fred um, suggested, he said, I like the trivia. And I thought to myself, well, he, he does make up like 25% of our audience. So, I guess we got to put some trivia out there. Give the people what they want. Um let me give you the pick, and then I'll give you the trivia question. Um, what's the pick? I'm, I'm distracted this morning. I don't know why. I guess I'm tired. Uh, but the only game we're playing today uh, is we're going to take the White Sox. Uh, going to take the White Sox at home this afternoon against the Dodgers. Eh, you know, neither team's playing particularly well. I guess that's where I'm kind of at with, oh, wow, the Dodgers are just going to roll over the White Sox uh, because they're the Dodgers and they're so great. Well, they're not playing particularly well right now. Uh, they've got Tyler Anderson pitching, who he's like the textbook definition of a knockaround guy. He's bounced around the league. He's below average pitcher, I would argue. And he's having a career year because, you know, for some reason now he's won the lottery and he's on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And he's like 7-0 and and uh, just looking like Mr. Superman. And I'm not buying it. Yeah, I think this is uh, uh, what would the statisticians call this. Uh, regression to the mean, I think that's what we're going to have here today. That get We're going to get him out of uh, Chavez Ravine, uh, where it's always been a pitcher's ballpark there. Get him out where, you know, he used to pitch, <laughs> out in the world, where he wasn't very good. And yeah, I think uh, we have a distinct advantage today with Dylan Cease, uh, I think who's a young, improving pitcher for the White Sox going versus Anderson. And I think we're going to see Cease over Anderson this afternoon. Um, that's the thinking. Uh, we'll see what happens. Like I said, seemingly right now the model's hot. So let's see if we can keep it rolling. Okay, here's my trivia question for you people. Since we're playing the White Sox today, I thought we'd have a White Sox trivia question. In 1979, the White Sox were not a particularly good team. In fact, I believe that was the first time that Tony La Russa managed in 1979, and he's still the manager. So... If you can believe that. Uh, but uh, in 1979, not a particularly good team, the White Sox. They averaged roughly 16,000 people per home game throughout the season. Uh, however, on Thursday, Thursday, July, 12th, they had a crowd of 55,000 people at Comiskey Park on a Thursday night, July 12th, 1979. Thursday night, a Thursday night. July 12th, 1979, 55,000 people at Comiskey Park. 
your question is why. If you can uh, answer that question, put it in the comment section. Why did the White Sox, White Sox, here we'll put it right here, White Sox. Why did the White Sox have 55,000 people jam Comiskey Park on a Thursday night, July 12th, 1979? Why did they have 55,000 people at the ballpark? There you have it. All right. Thanks for being here. And uh, we'll try to keep the winners moving. Uh, winner, winner, winner. Let's keep it going. Eric Arnold, thanking you for being here. And I'm signing off.